So today we're making vegetable soup and I've got a helper here, I've got Callum here who's going to demonstrate it for me. So you're going to take it a step at a time. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to get your onion and you're going to use the bridge technique. So Callum's showing that now. I'm going to cut it from top to bottom. So saw it backwards and forwards all the way through to the bottom. Okay, push any dirty bits to the side. You're then going to place it flat side down. Okay, and I'm going to cut the top part off using the claw technique. That's it, rotate it and cut the bottom bit off. And then from once we've done that, okay, it's then easier to peel the brown part off. Okay, scrape all the, the bits away with your hands rather than your knife because otherwise you'll blunt the knife. Cut the ends off first, don't you? You need to cut the ends off that one. So always cut the ends off because it makes it easier to peel. That's it, get all the brown bits out of the way. You don't want those in your soup. Oh, so push them all away. Okay, so now if you have a look on your onion, you can see that there are some lines. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to use those as a guideline. So, using the claw technique, grip hold of the side, like that. Mm -hmm. And what you're then going to do, or using the bridge sorry, you're going to then slice down on those lines, like that. Don't go all the way through to the end, the other end. Can you see? Yep. So, slice down, slice down, slice down. There we go. That's all right. So then you're going to rotate it. Hang on a second. You're going to go that end because that's the bit you've cut. Yep. And now saw down. No, no, no. You want to saw down. Use a claw technique. Claw technique to slice it down that way. And by not cutting to the very end, just it's the onion keeping it together for you. It makes it easier to cut if you can do that. Any big bits, put back on the, the board and just slice them into small pieces. Yeah, this right? is just kind of kind Yeah, so just cut them into small pieces. So do that with both halves. So once that has been chopped, we're placing it into the saucepan um, and we are going to just add a splash of oil into the pan. Okay, you only need, you don't need too much. What we're now gonna do is we're now gonna prepare the rest of the vegetables. Okay, so we're gonna start with the celery. So using the claw technique, we're gonna cut the end, just the end bits off. Okay, and put them onto our plate of, of rubbish. We're then going to pub the, 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 the bridge technique. I'm going to cut down the middle. Okay, and then use the claw technique to chunk it. So remember last week we made the guacamole with the, with the, 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 the vegetable dips. We were just making them into um, batons, weren't we? Okay. Mm -hmm. So watch those those fingertips close to the knife, remember, so claw technique. Yep. Okay, so control that knife. Saw backs and forwards. Try and keep them the same size so they cook this equally. Okay, keep going backwards and forwards. So now I'm gonna peel the carrots. Now, Callum's got two smaller carrots here, but if you've got one big carrot, that'll be sufficient. So we're just gonna peel it, so making sure your fingertips are away from the blade, holding the carrot down at an angle. You're just gonna drag it down and then rotate it, the carrot each time. Keep going, you don't wanna take too much of the peelings off because that's where the nutrients are. Okay, and then once you've done that, you're then gonna use your chop, your cutting techniques to cut it into diced, like the, the um, celery, uh, ready for the soup okay so once that's done we've got a separate plate here we're just uh, storing our potato our veg chopped pitched vegetables on and we've got a plate of all the scraps so we're keeping our working area nice and clean and tidy right the potato we've got a nice big potato here so we're going to do exactly the same keeping your fingers out the way so you hold your potato in your hand and then using the peeler to strike down okay and then rotate it in your hands around to get rid of everything Okay. Just requires a little bit of 
what we're going to do now is we're going to chop the potato. The potato's quite a big one, so I'm just going to do this bit for Callum first of all. So using the bridge technique, just going to chop down. Oh, the plug's come off. Okay, and then from here, you're going to dice the potato. So you want to bridge it again in half. Okay. That's it. Watch that blade. No, careful no. the knife is up that way. That's yeah. it. There we go. And then from that then, we can then do like make chips. Okay. So use the claw technique. Not too thin. Not too that's it, so probably in half. Yeah, all the way down. Okay, keep keep going, keep going. If need be, pull the knife out, rotate it round, that's it. And go down there. That's it, right, take that bit off. Right, place that bit down, as if you're making chips, cut that in half. Perfect. And then from that, you can then turn it that way and dice. So then you're making them into the sort of dice not too sm they need to be the same size don't they yeah. so that they can cook at the same speed not too small that'll do so put them onto your plate and then do the rest do the same with the rest of the potato okay okay saw it backwards and forwards that's it move that bit out of the way that's it Cut it in half, good, and then dice it. Oops, those fingertips. Okay, put them onto your plate with the rest of your vegetables. So the vegetables are all cooked. We, we, we chopped the potato last because if we were to chop the potato first, actually it it, it, be, it become oxidated. So the, it would become uh, what's called enzymic browning, which you're going to learn later on. Uh, is where some fruit and vegetables go brown once they've been peeled and chopped. But because we chopped the potato last, we're now going to cook it. They're not going to go brown. So we're now going to do. We're now going to go to the, to the um, cooker in a hob. And we're going to start, we're going to fry the onions first. We're just going to, uh, just about a minute or two. And what we'll then do is we'll then add the vegetables to it. Okay. So whilst the onion is slowly cooking, I'm just going to crumble the oxo cube into the jug. Okay, and we've got the kettle on to boil. We're going to add 500 millilitres of hot water to make a vegetable stock. Right, Calum's now going to add in the vegetables, the rest of the vegetables into his pan. We've so turned the temperature down, use your hand to push it in. That's it, you've got more control then. That's it. Give it a stir, just cook it out for a minute or two. So turn the temperature down a little bit. Probably to four. Okay. Give it a stir. Okay, so it doesn't stick. Right, Callum's now going to be poor. Before he does, he needs to make sure he's going to be safe. So remember, it's boiling water. So fingers at, fingers out the way. So he's going to fill it to 500 litres, which is half a litre. So look at the measurement. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, stop. Give it a stir. Okay. And then, I'm going to move the kettle out of the way. And now he can slowly, carefully pour it into his saucepan. So hold the, the jug well over the saucepan. Hold it down low so you're not going to splash. Pour it all in. That's it, all in. Perfect. Keep going, keep going, keep going. That's it. And then give it a stir. And now we're just going to leave it to simmer. Now simmer means it needs to be boiling, not a big bubbles, but just a little bit of bubbles. You have to simmer probably for about 20 minutes until the vegetables are soft. Okay? So we can get a, we can put a lid on that if you want to. Mm -hmm. Right, so it's been simmering for about five minutes. We're now going to season it. So Cam's going to carefully take the lid off. Be careful not to burn his, his hand on the steam. I'm going to place that on the side. Give it a quick stir with a spoon. Okay. And now we're going to season it with salt, pepper and mixed herbs. So he's going to take the spoon out. 
You're going to put the pour the salt into your hand. You don't want to pour it into straight into the saucepan. So he's going to put a bit of salt in his hand, and he's going to control how much salt goes in. So put in a big pinch, and then perhaps a bit more. Put a little bit more. In. There you go. You, okay, and from that you're then going to grind the black pepper. So a couple of try and get it in the saucepan. That's it. And then mix herbs again, like the salt. Put it in into your hand. How do you open it? Do you push like it or open it? Oh, I can't get it. Oh, there you go. So pour a bit into your hand. Let's have a look. Get about that much. So you're going to put, just push it all in. Give it a stir. And then we can always check for seasoning later on in case it needs some more salt and pepper. Okay, put the lid back on. Put the spoon out, put it in its little holder on the saucepan. There we go. So we've checked, we've checked the vegetables to make sure they're soft and they're ready. Callum's just now going to taste, so blow on it so it's going to be too hot. He's going to taste to see whether it needs more seasoning or not. Do need more salt or pepper? A bit more pepper. Okay, so grind some more in them. So this you can then season according to your personal taste. Callum's added a little bit of chilli flakes. Um, into it only a little bit just to add a little bit of flavour give it a stir okay so now he's ready um, to serve it now you can either if you would like to, it to be a smooth soup you can use a blender which I'm going to demonstrate with my soup and um, Callum wants his left a little bit lumpy don't you Callum so what we're going to do is we're going to get the blender and we're going to blend a little bit of it but not all of it so he's got some lumps left in it so Callum's decided to add a little bit of milk to his soup just make it a little bit creamy, not too much, just a splash of milk. A bit more, I do. If you want to be it to be more enriched, you could add a little bit of cream to it. There you go. Give it a stir. And then it's ready to be served. Beautiful. Callum's gonna use a ladle to carefully ladle his soup into his container. saucepan to help. 